President Yoru Museveni is expected on Thursday to officiate the inaugural meeting between prosecutors and police investigators here at Chibuli C. Heidi headquarters. This place has gone total transformation, as you can see right from the entry. Those who were here a few years ago may get lost. The buildings have been renovated and painted, and this is the new outlook of the CID headquarters here in Chibuli. For those coming in, there are three gates, three gates that they have to go through at the moment. The first one is the main entry from the Chibuli Road going to Nsambia, and then there is this one midway, and then the last point. This is what the CID boss, Tom Magambo, says that for those who are suspects, if you come in here, getting out may be a different story. For his part, Major Tom Magambo emphasized that they were focused on efforts to achieve speedy processing of cases. If you have realized these days, you know, we have even put a permanent gate now at Chibuli. These days when we call you here, many times getting out is very hard. <laughs> have, you, have you observed that, Galiwa? Yes. Because by the time we call you, it means we have done our work. Magambo also defended the directorate's new ways of being conservative with information on their investigations. He says the measure is to stop the CID officers from being used to witch hunt members of the public. Give us chance to have a system which accounts to you when we are ready to account to you. Not to turn it into a house where we blackmail people, we intimidate people, and then eventually some funny people out there start to, to extort. So we, we are trying to do that to make sure that the CID is not a center of embarrassing Ugandans because they can only be proven in court. His rare address to the media is ahead of the inaugural two-day annual joint meeting of officers from the Office of the Directorate of Public Prosecutions and the Criminal Investigations Directorate. The Chief Government Prosecutor, Jen Francis Abodo, says the meeting is geared to result in an enhanced level of coordination, cooperation in investigations and prosecution of cases. The menu of deliberations is focused on strengthening the handling of land cases, corruption, human rights and elections ahead of 2026. We don't want to, to get into elections and then we are, because we are, we are scattered all over the country, we have staff who are going to be part of this conversation in these two days. They are scattered all over the country. We don't want uncoordinated movement when election because all this, by the way, this is just the beginning. We are going to forecast for elections. We are going to forecast for famine, so that we actually can tow our line. We don't get out of line. We just tow our line. If it is an offence and is committed during elections, we shall definitely bring the people. And we are not just we are not just going to be arresting people. <laughs> the truth is, we should assure Ugandans that we are working day and night to ensure we have a free and fair election. There will be no chaos here. If you are busy planning chaos, then you should expect the system to come for you. Abodo argues that the outcome of the deliberations is to contribute to the attainment of the socio-economic development. So even just to attract foreign investment, they will always look at how is the rule of law in that particular country. If I report a case, will the case be handled efficiently and effectively? So foreign investors want a country where there is actually peace. The officers expect realization of speedy trials with the recent enhancement of salaries of security personnel, trainings and provision of tools, coupled with additional recruitment of prosecutors whose numbers stand at 400 out of the required 833. Jackson Onyango, NTV.